Now we'll demonstrate an actual cleaning and inspection process. Begin by identifying what connectors you are working with. With each connector, you'll need to inspect the mail connector that is easily accessed, as well as the connector that is within the bulkhead adapter. That connector is often within a hardware device and can only be viewed through the bulkhead adapter. Attach your microscope to its display. You can refer to your operation manual for instructions. Here, we're working with an SC connector. To inspect the mail connector, attach the appropriate tip to the probe, insert the connector into the tip, view the image on the display, and focus. Your company may have its own set of pass-fail criteria for determining whether the fiber is sufficiently clean. Alternatively, Westover can provide recommendations. There are some ongoing efforts in standardizing these criteria that may come to market relatively soon. In any case, if the fiber fails for contamination, clean the fiber and repeat the inspection. In general, you do not want to clean until you have first inspected. The cleaning process is not perfect and can actually introduce dirt onto a clean connector. The correct process is inspect, clean, inspect, and repeat if necessary. If the fiber is clean at any inspection, it is ready to be put into service. Remember, it is critical to inspect both sides of the interconnect before mating. To inspect the connector within a bulkhead, the process is similar. Change the tip on the probe to the appropriate bulkhead tip. Insert the tip into the bulkhead adapter and focus. Once again, determine whether the fiber is acceptable by comparing it to a set of pass-fail criteria. If the fiber fails due to contamination, clean the fiber and repeat the inspection. The process of cleaning through the bulkhead is a bit different and there are a number of tools that can be used. We recommend using this type of cleaner or Westover's Clean Blast system, but traditional swabs can also be used. In any event, follow the manufacturer's instructions for use. Again, follow the process of inspect, clean, inspect, and repeat if necessary. If at any point the fiber passes an inspection, it is ready to be put into service. A couple of quick notes about cleaning. Dust caps are known sources for contributing dust onto a fiber. While this is not intuitive, it is a proven fact. Never assume a fiber is clean because you've just removed a dust cap. Also, you will run across fibers that have stubborn dirt that won't come clean. You can try using a wet-dry cleaning process on these. If you do, be sure to carefully follow the manufacturer's instructions as wet cleaning processes can sometimes create more problems than they solve. Lastly, in some cases stubborn dirt won't come clean and the fiber must ultimately be rejected. Your company may have its own policy for how many cleaning cycles it recommends prior to rejecting a connector. If not, our recommendation is three to five cleaning cycles. If you have large defects or defects very near the core that won't come clean after three to five cycles, the connector may need to be repolished or removed from service and replaced. The last section we need to cover is inspecting SFP and XFP transceivers. These devices are becoming more and more common in our industry and they provide some additional challenges. As referenced earlier, inside the transceiver you will find either a fiber stub or some sort of lens assembly. If you find a fiber stub, you can simply treat it as an LC connector within a bulkhead adapter. If you focus inside this device and see an unusual image that is clearly not a simple fiber end face, you are likely looking at a lens assembly of some sort. These devices vary widely in design and it is not productive to try and teach you how to discern exactly what you're looking at in each case. What is critical to understand is that you're looking for contamination on an otherwise round field of light. Let's walk through some basic guidelines for inspecting transceivers. Begin by installing the FBPT LCL inspection tip on the probe and turn the focus control on the probe clockwise until it stops. Now insert the probe into the transceiver 
and begin turning the focus control counterclockwise until an image is in view and in focus. At this point, you will need to determine whether you see one of the following three images. If you see a fiber image with a distinct fiber core, then it is a fiber stub. This can simply be inspected and cleaned like an LC connector within a bulkhead adapter. If the contamination cannot be cleaned and the device does not perform properly, remove the device from service and replace. If you see an image with a distinct metal ring, then it is a ferrule stop. Once you have identified the ferrule stop, continue turning the focus control to see if any contamination is present on the lens element. If at any point you see a field of white light with dark specks, focus on the specks to view the contamination on the lens surface. If contamination exists, note that the lens element within this device is not accessible for cleaning. However, the device may still be operable. Furthermore, since it is a non-contact device, attaching a connector to the device does not risk damaging the connector or the device. Put the device into service. If it fails the inspections and does not perform properly, contamination is likely the root cause and it should be removed from service and replaced. If there is no discernible fiber image or metal ring, then it is most likely a flat lens design. As you turn the focus control, you will see a variety of images at multiple focal points inside the device. If you see a field of white light with dark specks, it is likely the surface of the flat lens. If the contamination is on the leading surface of the lens, you should be able to clean it much like a connector within a bulkhead adapter. If the contamination is on a surface that is sealed inside the device, it cannot be cleaned. If the contamination cannot be cleaned, and does not perform properly, remove the device from service and replace. Inspection and cleaning are critical at every stage of handling fiber. Component manufacturing, assembly, system test, receiving QC, installation, and maintenance and troubleshooting. Many companies have already learned the hard way just how important this really is. For instance, if system manufacturer neglects to inspect and clean prior to mating fiber at system test, it's probable that a dirty test lead will contaminate and possibly damage the system before it ships. As you can imagine, this could cause all kinds of problems for the manufacturer and the customer. In summary, dirt and contamination are major obstacles to achieving a seamless, robust, high-powered fiber network. The tiniest particle of dirt and a fiber interconnect can have a huge impact on signal loss and the performance of your network. By proactively inspecting and cleaning connectors each time before they're mated, you will save countless hours and dollars on unnecessary troubleshooting and downtime. As the world's leading manufacturer of fiber optic inspection equipment, Westover Scientific offers a wide variety of solutions to match virtually any application where fiber is deployed. Our goal is to offer a simple, efficient and cost-effective solution for maintaining cleanliness of fiber end faces at every stage of life. Thank you for your time. Remember, always inspect before you connect. Westover Scientific, the industry's leading supplier of optical connector inspection equipment.